from Paris rooftops to robotic cubes in Arizona, this is the future of farming. Welcome to Machine Dominion, where machines don't sleep and neither does the future. A self-driving robot named Grover glides through a greenhouse, lifting trays of plants with ease. Cameras scan every leaf, and AI inspects the shape, color, and even detects mildew before it spreads. Can take that water, treat it a little bit, the nutrients that were not used by the plant that was growing there, we can get them right back into our system. The plants sit in clean, water-based trays, which means no soil, no mess. Grover moves module after module with robotic precision, feeding each plant exactly what it needs. Water use is down by 90%, and efficiency is up to the ceiling. At Iron Ox, farming looks more like a tech lab. A 20-foot-tall grow tower flashes with ILED light. Rows of green stretch from the floor to the ceiling inside a vertical farm. Climate systems fine-tune temperature and humidity. Hydroponics delivers nutrients with pinpoint accuracy. This is plenty, a warehouse-sized farm producing crops 400 times more efficiently than traditional fields. No pesticides, no seasons, just non-stop growth in vertical stacks. And it all fits inside a building the size of a grocery store. Bowery Farming is a vertical farming company. It's in the agri-tech space. We grow crops 365 days a year. We're bringing a lot of automation. Inside a Bowery Farm, crops grow in stacked rows under LED lights. Thousands of sensors track humidity, carbon dioxide, nutrients, and even light wavelengths. Everything flows into Bowery OS, the brain of the farm. Lights shift color automatically. Water and nutrients are delivered in real time. No farmers in boots here, just dashboards and data. Each recipe is custom built for every plant. Bowery grows more per square foot than almost any farm on earth, all while using 95% less water. Roots dangle in the air, misted gently with nutrient-rich vapor. No soil, no trays, no mess. This is Aero Farms, the master of aeroponic vertical farming. Plants sit on cloth beds, bathed in light recipes tailored for flavor and growth. The environment is sealed and computer-controlled. Yields are up to 390 times higher than open fields. And water use is 90% less. Greens grow on stacked shelves fresh, fast, and pesticide-free. A tomato ripens under Kentucky sunlight, then a robot strikes. Universal Harvester to work side-by-side -side with our crop care specialist. This addition to our current farming tools provides an... Virgo, an AI harvester, scans the fruit using lasers and cameras. It builds a 3D model and picks it at peak ripeness where there are no bruises and no mistakes. App Harvest runs a 60-acre smart greenhouse, recycling rainwater and powering rows of vines with hydroponics. Robots roam the aisles, carts glide automatically, and sunlight meets Silicon Valley tech. Tomatoes here aren't just grown, they're engineered with precision. A glowing glass box sits next to a produce aisle. Inside you find live basil, still growing. InFarm installs microfarms in grocery stores and restaurants that deploys highly efficient vertical indoor farming units inside of food and veg departments of supermarkets. Each unit is cloud connected, remotely controlled. Sensors adjust the lights, the water, the nutrients in real time. A central AI manages hundreds of farms at once. You pick lettuce from the same shelf it grew on. No pesticides, no transport, no soil. Just ultra local greens grown right where they're eaten. It's a farm you can see and smell inside a supermarket. Inside a warehouse in Japan, 30,000 heads of lettuce grow each day, and no one's touching them. This is Spread's Techno Farm, where robots handle every step, planting, watering, harvesting. By automating most of the labor in the Techno Farm system, we have achieved major improvements in productivity and product quality. 
LEDs glow over hydroponic racks while conveyor arms gently move lettuce from seed to shelf. The entire system is sealed. No pests, no pesticides. Climate stays perfect year-round, rain or shine, and labor costs are halved, and water use is down to 1%. Every lettuce identical, clean, and untouched. This is factory farming for vegetables. Galera's first hotel-installed high cube Lettuce grows in tall hydroponic towers inside a glowing warehouse. Calera is redefined. This is Calera, an indoor farming company combining software, sensors, and seed genetics. Every variable is tracked and tuned. Light, pH, nutrients, humidity. Farms run like labs, adjusting each crop's recipe in real time. High yield hydroponic vertical farming systems. What sets Calera apart? They breed seeds just for indoor farms, plants made to thrive under LEDs. That means higher yields, better taste, and faster growth. From Orlando to Seattle, their greens reach stores within a day of harvest. Organic. The system costs about a half million dollars to build. And we have an additional. A cubic grid holds thousands of greens inside an Arizona warehouse. Robots glide above, shifting bins in a dance of precision. Plants move, not people each one placed for ideal growth. Three-dimensional farming in motion, built on automation. When ready, a robot delivers each plant to a single port for harvest. No soil, no sunlight, just AI, hydroponics, and motion. Each crop matures in just 15 days, using 95% less water. Farming here isn't horizontal, it's vertical, automated, and smart enough to grow a salad inside a cube. Rooftop space. So the idea was to take this other... Wow. My first impression is... Above the noise of city streets, sunlight pours into rooftop greenhouses. This is Gotham Greens, turning urban rooftops into climate-controlled farms. Glass walls and hydroponics grow lettuce and herbs just blocks from local stores. Sunlight is boosted with LEDs, Water is recycled and no pesticides are used. Their farms need 95% less water and nearly no land. The result is crisp greens harvested in the morning and on shelves by afternoon. From supermarket roofs to abandoned factories, Gotham is reimagining agriculture. Farming now lives above the streets. A shipping container sits quietly on a Paris street. Inside, we have rows of strawberries glowing under pink LED lights. Of a Paris suburb. Inside these containers, herbs and... This is a cool tainer. Agricool's answer to urban fruit farming. No soil. No sunlight. Just vertical trays in a climate-controlled shell. It may look like an urban wasteland, but this is a sight. The air is tuned. The light is dialed in. Each berry grows plump, red, and sweet even in winter. Bumblebees buzz gently inside to pollinate the flowers. Nature and tech working side by side. 90% less water used than field farms. Power comes from renewable energy. Old containers turned into futuristic food pods. Every morning, the harvest is picked by hand. But the 73 hectares of farming land around Paris isn't enough. Then biked across town to local markets. Agricool proves you don't need a field to grow flavor. Just innovation, LEDs, and a little bit of Paris. 